about and kind of what that looks like for me. Like Christy said, this is my recipe. It doesn't have to be yours. You take what you like from what I'm doing. Um, take what you like from what your upline is doing or whomever you've learned from in a training and, and use that. Um, this is this business is amazing because it's not one size fits all. It's not um, cookie cutter people that all are doing the same exact thing. Um, we get the chance to make it our own. So that being said, I'm going to give you my system on how I walk through um, retention and and trying to keep my customers happy and connected all throughout their journey. Um, because we all know how it feels to just like have that attrition and people just falling off every month. Now, I also want to tell you that attrition is completely normal. People quit on themselves. People are always looking for the next thing um, they like new. So that is why it is so important to lay the foundation and set expectations and tell them that you are going to keep them accountable um, throughout this journey. So um, my first question for you guys is, uh, are you avoiding customer care? Is there, I know like Jordan, this is not one of her favorite things to do. So unmute yourself and let me know a reason that you avoid checking in on your customers. Okay, I can go first. Um, I avoid checking in on my customers sometimes because when I first started, I had a couple try to quit on me and we saved one of them, Kimmy, but we didn't always save all of them and it scares me. All right, anybody else? Um, I gotta, um, I gotta I, go. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, go ahead whoever said that sorry <laughs> um I think I avoid it because I think I did it wrong at first and I just said like what do you see and like what are you what change are you seeing are you noticing and I think I was asking like the right questions um and it would be like a weekend like nothing had happened they'd be like well I'm not seeing anything so I'm just gonna quit now so I think I was just doing it wrong at first um and kind of asking like the wrong questions I guess um as to where it would like turn them off and think that they were doing something wrong or they weren't working Yes, I remember one time I asked one person when I first started, how's everything going? And then I got their whole life story and I was like, wait, I, I was talking about <laughs> your supplements. Um, okay, Kayla, go. So um, I was going to say that I get anxious because sometimes they don't answer and I don't know why, but that just makes me not want to even try sometimes. So it's something that I'm trying to work through. Yes. Being ghosted. Anybody else? The comments are really good too, Kimmy, if you can see those. If not, I can read them. Yeah, could you read them for me? Sorry, I'm on my phone. Yeah, that's what I, th I thought I heard you say that earlier. Um, somebody said, I feel like I ran out of questions to ask, which I totally have been there. Um, I feel like I can be annoying to my people when I'm check checking in. Um, there are a few more, um, let me see, because I don't want to come across annoying. Yeah, so um, a lot of them are kind of the same. Yeah. Okay, so first I want to say, when these people signed up, they signed on and you told them you were going to help them through this process. Um, just lay that expectation. I'm like, hey girl, I am going to ask you questions. We're going to talk about your poop. We're going to talk about your periods. I'm going to be checking in with you regularly. Just like I said, we're, we're laying the foundation, letting them know that, hey, we're going to be best friends. I'm going to know all about your stuff. I'm going to be all up in your business. Um, I want this to work for you. I know it works. I want to help you stay consistent, find a good routine and see the results that you want to see. So I just set that up right from the get go. Um, so let's get started. I think that customer care really starts. Sorry, I talk with my hands a lot um, like Ricky Bobby. So just just go with it. Um, so customer care is really starting during the onboarding process. Um, 
when we are talking to people about getting started on these products, we are always telling them about the time that it takes to see results. We are always telling them that this is not a Band-Aid. This is not a quick fix. Your body didn't get this way overnight. It's not going to change back overnight. So I just am always telling them that so that they come with the expectation that I'm not going to lose 20 pounds overnight. I'm going to have to commit to this. I ask them for the commitment. I say, this is going to be 60 to 90 days. Um, are you willing to put in that time for yourself? Are you willing to put in that time to see those changes? Um, so just kind of getting them to say, yes, this is what I want um, and making that commitment in their mind before they even get started. Sorry, I'm also gonna be looking at my notes over here. I also talk about the possibility of detox right up front. I'm laying it all out on the table so there aren't any surprises, but people are still gonna hear what they wanna hear. So we're gonna repeat, repeat, repeat this message um, all throughout uh, their check-ins, all throughout, um, while they're waiting to get their products, we are going to, to keep this in the front of their mind. So I usually say something like, as your body gets rid of this junk that's been sitting in your gut, making you sick, uh, or I say like, just like they talked about in that post on candida yeast, sometimes as it's leaving your body, your body is going to go through a period of detox. You are going to... Um, you may experience some headaches or some diarrhea. I just want you to know that this is all normal. Some people experience it, some people don't. Um, so again, laying the foundation and letting them know that this is possible. Um, it doesn't happen for everyone, but hey, this could happen. And if it does, I'm gonna talk you through it. I'm gonna be here every step of the way. Um, and then as I'm enrolling them on the phone, if you are not enrolling your people on the phone, I want to tell you that it's scary at first, but it's actually so much easier. You get on the phone, you have a captive audience. They can't ghost you or like disappear from messenger and not talk to you for three days. If you're on the phone, you have them there. And what I usually say to get them on the phone is, hey, I'd love to just call you really quickly so I can answer any questions that you might have and I'll walk you through the enrollment process. Um, and then I get on the phone and I'm just talking them through how to do this because we all know that the website has a ton of products. Um, it has, excuse me, uh, incentive codes and promo codes and all kinds of different things. Why is it asking me for my birthday? things like that, we're just putting them at ease by being on the phone and being able to answer any questions that they have right there. As they get signed up, I am saying something like, hey, I'm so excited for you to get started. I found that most of the people that start with an accountability partner are way more successful. Um, is there someone that you could do this with? Does anyone come to mind that might be struggling with any of those issues that we talked about? So right from jump, I am talking about the business with them, not in a, hey, come do this business and be a diamond. We're going to make millions of dollars and win shopping sprees. No, I'm just easing into the thought that, hey, there's an opportunity here. And I'm letting them know that it's going to help them because people are always thinking about themselves first. Um, so after they put their order in on day one or two after they uh, order, I am sending them a message that says something like, I can't wait for you to get started. Um, while you're waiting for your products to arrive, I am going to send you this video. I know lots of people have questions about how long this is gonna take or what they need to do. Um, so watch this when you're doing the dishes or pop your earbud in or while you're driving the kids to school, whatever. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. And I think that is just another way to give them some third party validation, to let them know that repeating that this is gonna take time. This is not gonna be something that happens overnight. 
And there are a few different videos uh, that can be used for this. I use the one by Brooke Hemingway because I love her. Uh, and um, I know Lindsay uses another. We will drop those in the April thread for you with a sample message after we get off this call. Uh, I send it to everyone and it just makes it so much easier. They know what to expect and we're ready to go. Um, on day three or four, when they're waiting for their products, that, that period of time between when they hit sign up and they're waiting for their products is kind of like that time when, you know, after you buy a new car and you're like, oh gosh, what did I do? Or you get a new puppy and you're like, oh gosh, what did I do? Um, <laughs> that just happened to me. Uh, but on day three, I'm like, okay, hi, I'm so excited for you. I just tagged you on our resource page in a welcome post that's going to answer any questions that you may still have. Uh, there are a ton of stories. There's a ton of product information. Let me know when your products come in. Um, and then, you know, sometimes we'll chat back and forth, but, you know, just constantly reminding them that you're here. There's tons of resources and reiterating that, it's all on the page as well as coming from you. So they know that you are going to be a source of information oops, throughout the whole process. And then once their products get in, um, I get them started and I do it a little differently than, than some of the sheets that, that you may have seen. Um, Everybody does it a little differently. That's perfectly fine. The triplex also comes with a sheet in it that tells them how to get started. Like we were talking about, this is a recipe. Add in what you want, take out what you don't want. Use what works best for you. As long as you are speaking confidently about taking the products, about the business, it's going to reflect well on you. Um, if you don't know something, it's also okay to say, hey, I'm not sure how you should take your Metaburn. Let me ask my friend Jordan. She's been doing this forever and she takes Metaburn every day. Um, it's okay to say that. Okay to tell them that you are going to ask somebody a question or you're going to find out for them. So I get them started if their bowel movements are normal on two and two. If they are constipated. I am starting them on two bio cleanse and one pro bio five. And if they are more on the looser side, I start them with one bio cleanse and two pro bio fives. Will you say that again? So yeah. everybody can write that down. Yeah. If their bowel movements are normal, I start them on two pro bio fives and two bio cleanse. If they are constipated, I start them on two bio cleanse and one pro bio five. And if they are on the looser side or have a lot of diarrhea, I start them on one bio cleanse and two pro bio fives. Now, again, we're going to be adjusting this throughout the process, depending on changes that they're seeing um, and then getting them up to a normal <clears throat> dosage. All right. So after they've been on their products for a couple of days, I like to reach out and ask some questions that are not super open-ended, um, but just saying something like, hey, Sharon, uh, tell me how you're loving the pink drink. Have you noticed any changes in your bowel movements yet? And then from there, we adjust the dosage as needed um, and you can find a ton of information on that on health, happiness, and financial freedom. So I won't go into all of that. And um, then, you know, the conversation ends naturally and I leave them alone for a couple of days as they're getting used to taking these products every day, starting something new. Um, new habits are hard and you all know that. Um, so after about a week, I check in and I say, okay, it's been about a week. It's kind of early to be seeing any results, but I wanted to make sure that you know I'm here. If you have any questions or concerns, I know that I had a million when I was getting started. Um, are you finding a good routine with your supplements? And if they are not, I usually coach them on 
Habit Stacking, which is from the book Atomic Habits, which is amazing. Um, it's about uh, adding it into something that you're already doing. So I say like, hey, you plug your phone in on the charger every night on your nightstand, set your supplements right there, put your charger on top of it so that you see it and it goes with something that you're already doing. Um, I, and I send them a ton of encouragement on, you know, saying new habits are hard. This is, it, it's a big change. Um, this is, this is life changing as, you know, sorry, my watch is now talking to me. Um, this is, this is a big change in your life and it's, it's going to be amazing. Let me help you find a routine that works. Uh, and then I just remind them to keep going and that they can reach out to me if they need anything. Notice I never said, how's everything going? Or I just wanted to check in. Have to ask specific questions and that's going to help them know that it's okay to respond whether something good or bad is happening. Um, okay, and then around week two, I check in again and I say something like, happy Tuesday. I hope that you're doing well. Tell me all the things. Are you noticing any changes in your sleep, mood, energy, digestion? They may not have started for their sleep or their mood or their energy, but we know that these things are some of the first things that I saw. Um, and it's, it's, directing the question so that they're not thinking, oh my goodness, I haven't lost 15 pounds yet. Um, and then take a note about what they're, what they're excited about. Like, hey, I slept like a baby last night. Um, or like, oh my goodness, uh, my husband, I didn't even hear my husband get in bed because I was sleeping so soundly. And then celebrate the heck out of it. Take a screenshot, black out their little face and their name and go and post it on your Instagram stories. Tell them how awesome that is and say, I dare you to post about it or something silly. Um, it's only going to be weird if you make it weird. So um, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate and take notes so that you can remind them of those things when you talk to them again and maybe they're having some detox or they're still not seeing any weight loss just yet. Um, and then I usually add in uh, something like, this is only the beginning. Sleep was one of the first things I noticed. Also, I'm not sure if I told you, but Plexus is offering $305 this month to anyone who refers three friends. I just helped my friend Brittany earn hers and it was so much fun. Can you think of anyone who could benefit from better sleep? And that just kind of opens up the conversation. I'm not saying, hey, let's start a business together. Um, that scares people. Uh, and this is kind of just like easing them into the process, giving little, little drips of, hey, I make real money. And not saying, hey, you need to get up and do an IPA every day and do X, Y, and Z. Um, it's just saying, hey, this is really easy. I just helped my friend do it and she's got her products covered for three months. Um, and then on week three, I usually check in and say something like, are you still sleeping like a baby? Have you noticed anything else big or small? I remember that when I first started, it was kind of like I slowly started to feel like myself again. Um, and then I wait for their answer and I send encouragement if they're not seeing anything yet. Um, and when I do, I'm reminding them, hey, this is gonna take some time. It's going, it, it hasn't been that long yet. Keep going, keep drinking your water and staying consistent. I know that this is going to have a huge impact on your blank migraines, bowel movements, um, whatever it is that they had mentioned in the beginning. Um, I'm so glad that you're still sleeping well. I can't wait to check in with you in, um, yes, I would love to share my notes. Uh, I can't wait to check in with you in, in a week or so and, and hear about X, Y, or Z. And I always throw something in a little personal also, like 
oh, I saw your pictures from baseball. Cam's so big. Just kind of being yourself. It's not like a sales robot <laughs> asking these questions. Um, <laughs> You guys are funny. Okay. And then week four, right before their order goes out, I talk to them. Uh, um, I say, hey, it's been almost a month. I'm so glad that you're finding your sweet spot um, and finding your routine, drinking your water. Do you have any questions for me? Are you still sleeping well? You know, just reiterating the things that we already talked about. And then from there, I check in with them every month, at least once, whether it's going and commenting on one of their posts on Facebook or shooting them a quick message, uh, and just being relatable, being a person. And then I'm going to check in every month when the incentives come out and say, hey, I know you maybe thought about doing this business before. Did you see that we have a chance to win an iPad this month? Or did you see that Plexus is doing an extra bonus if you add two friends? Um, and just kind of normalizing the process. Now, I know it gets really hard when somebody starts detoxing or is having problems, uh, like they're pooping too much or they're breaking out in a rash or they can't sleep. So. Jordan and Chandler are going to share some of the ways that they help them adjust dosage, um, some verbiage that they have when those things start happening. Chandler, are you ready? She on you. I'm ready. Sorry, I thought you were looking at me. I can't see you. There you ready. are. There you are. Okay, first off, y'all, Kimmy's suggestions and notes are perfection. So just do that. That's probably better than what I do. Um, and the other thing I'm going to tell you before we talk about this for a second is um, I saw at the beginning, a lot of y'all said, I don't know what questions to ask once I get, get in the conversation. And I just want to remind you, and Chandler and I were talking about this, we are not doctors. We are not pharmacists. We are not integrative medical professionals. Most of us are just moms or women in general who just love gut health or have fallen in love with products and we're sharing about them and we're going to help you as much as we can. And thankfully, we have a lot of people to help us, whether we, if we don't know the answer, we can go find the answer. Right. So don't feel like I have to know all the answers. In fact, you don't. Um, and we don't want you to know the answers, but we're going to teach y'all some, some questions that you can be asking once someone comes to you and says, hey. I've gained weight. Hey, I've got a headache this week and I have for a couple of days. Hey, I'm constipated. What is this? Okay. So Chandler. Jordan, I have what? literally just written down an affirmation and I want everybody, cause you're all muted. I want you all to say this affirmation right now. I do not have to be a product expert or a health expert to run a super successful business with Plexus. Say that out loud. I do not have to be a product expert or a health expert to run a super successful business with Plexus. Because the truth is y'all being an expert is not duplicatable and nobody is going to follow you in your footsteps if we're acting like know-it-alls. And so it is okay to not know the answers. Um, so we're just going to give y'all some quick tips that will hopefully help you navigate so that customer care is not so intimidating and we're not avoiding it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back to you, Jay. Well, I, I love that. And I am, I'm going to be honest, y'all product not, knowledge is not one of my things. I go ask a million questions and then I'm like, okay, somebody help me. Here's all the information. So Chandler, let's say you have a girl, maybe she's, you know, on triplex and she is experiencing some headaches in her first couple of months. What are some of the first things you might ask? Um, if that's the case. Yes. So detox symptoms are going to be all over the place, y'all. Like I've experienced some, some really wild things. Um, but for the most part, a lot of them are pretty generic. Headaches are extremely common. Loose bowel movements are really common. Sugar cravings, fatigue, and muscle aches are all super common. So when somebody comes to me, especially like between day 30 and 90 with any of those symptoms, my immediate thought is, they're probably approaching detox or they're in the thick of detox. Um, and truth be told, 
my questioning is exactly the same every single time. And so the questions that we ask, like, will be consistent every time. You don't have to cater them to a specific scenario um, because we're just gathering information so that we can try to help navigate them on their journey. So my first question is, what is your diet like? What have you eaten today? What have you eaten in the past 24 hours? Tell me what that looks like. Um, and I'm actually usually so shocked at how terrible people eat or just the lack of food in general. Um, but with diet, I'm going to share a few tips with these questions. So with diet, normally my tips with these are you need to eat more fibrous foods, such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Um, cause if they're not eating natural fiber in their diet, it's probably severely impacting their bowel movements. And if their bowel movements are impacted, y'all, they're not going to be detoxing very well. Um, so do more of those things and then also stay away from things like sugar, processed grains, um, fried foods, dairy, and alcohol. Those are the biggest things that I'm looking for with diet. So um, that's normally my response when I'm asking about diet. That's usually what I'm, what I'm gathering and then what I'm recommending for them. My second question is how much water are you drinking in a day? And people will usually lie to you because they know they need to be drinking more water than what they do. Um, the rule of thumb on water though, is half of your body weight in ounces per day. If they're exercising or have like a really laborious job, um, that needs to be greatly increased. Um, so if they don't have a way to track water, I encourage them to go buy a bottle on Amazon. So they know how much they're drinking because if they're just drinking out of a cup like this, it's going to be hard to monitor exactly how much they're getting. Um, but water is such a huge part of this journey just to make sure we're flushing everything out with all the products we're taking. Okay. So that's my second question I'm asking her. Um, and then also with tips with that would be just to encourage them to avoid things like alcohol, um, sugar, sweetened beverages, Cokes, all those junky things that we know we should be avoiding. Okay, my third question that I'm asking is, and hopefully we've already gathered this information before they started, but sometimes it's good just to clarify. Are you taking any medications or vitamins other than Plexus? I had a girl once that started Triplex and she quit after two months because I was not a great sponsor and I didn't ask a lot of questions. And it turns out she was taking like an insane amount of magnesium plus her Triplex. And I didn't ask those questions and she was literally pooping her brains out. Um, so just clarifying, are you taking any vitamins outside of Plexus? And if so, can you show me what those look like? So I can make sure we're not like double dosing on anything. Um, that's my third question. My fourth question is what is your dosage? This is the really fun one. How many of y'all show of hands? How many of y'all are terrified to talk about dosage adjustments? because you don't know what you're doing. Most people, yeah. Um, so a couple of tips, and I would actually love to call on somebody because I feel like my sister Lauren's really good at dosage. She's super green. Um, also Katie Woodruff, if she's on this call, she's another great resource. Um, but Lauren, you've just started with somebody on Triplex and they're pooping their brains out like multiple times a day, rushing to the bathroom and it's liquid. What do you do with their dosage? Well, first I'd ask them what their dosage looks like. So yeah. they could be taking four or five or six probiotics and they could be taking four or five or six bio cleanse. Um, but if they're pooping their brains out, they're probably taking too much magnesium. They're probably taking way too much bio cleanse. Um, so I would assess where they are with their dosage and have them back down on their bio cleanse um, and probably keep their probio five consistent. And something else too, I've noticed is that people with looser bowel movements, um, if they're taking the slim along with the probiotic and the bio cleanse in the beginning, sometimes slim can affect people's bowel movements um, more so than others. Um, so that's another question I like to ask, which slim are you taking? Um, and when are you taking your bio cleanse? How much are you taking? Um, all of that, but typically it's because they're taking too much bio cleanse. 
um, but I will always keep their probiotics consistent. Yeah, that's really good. My rule of thumb on dosage, specifically when we're talking about bowel movements, BioCleanse is what's impacting the thickness or the firmness of the stool. So if the stool is watery, we need to back down on BioCleanse. If the stool is really hard, we need to go up on BioCleanse because um, magnesium is a stool softener. The tricky part, y'all, and this is this is the fun part, is when somebody is first starting and you start them on like one bio cleanse, right? And they're running to the bathroom multiple times a day. And they're like, oh my God, I can't take bio cleanse anymore. This is too much. So in that situation, um, you may have to just stop bio cleanse altogether and maybe just run pro bio five and bio or pro bio five and slim for a few days and let their body adjust to that before we add bio cleanse in. Um, another tip, if somebody's doing like two bio cleanse a day is you can split up the dosage. So instead of doing just AM or just PM, we can split half the dosage in the morning and half the dosage at night. Um, and that's been another effective method to help regulate the bowel movements. Especially if they're super gassy. I've noticed that if you're taking your supplements all at night and you become too gassy, you can, so you can split your bio cleanse up in the afternoon and half at night. Um, and on the flip side, if you're too gassy doing half and half, then you can move them all to the evening. Um, so those are like that's another way you can play around with dosage. Um, and then can I add one more thing? Sorry, this is something I thought of. Um, but another thing, like when Chandler was saying, like ask about their diet, if someone is not used to eating like a normal diet, let's say they eat like a half a sandwich a day for their diet. Like, cause some people really do just forget to eat and they're not eating enough. And if they're only eating like a half a sandwich a day or maybe a handful of grapes, and then they're taking all of these supplements, that could also greatly affect their bowel movement. So that could also be super runny. Um, so that's another, another reason why you need to ask about their diet. I need to apologize. I feel like that was just a huge overload of information. Um, Y'all please ask questions in the chat because we all have been doing this for several years now. Um, so whatever you guys need help with, or if you see a consistent theme in your newbies and you're like, I don't know how to get around this, um, we can help you diagnose that. But the biggest thing is going through that, that list of four questions, right? So we're asking about what does your diet look like? I'm asking how much water are you drinking a day? And do you drink anything besides water and your pink drink, obviously? Um, are you taking any meds or vitamins outside of Plexus? And then what is your current dosage? And sometimes I'll just play dumb and say, can you remind me what products are you taking again? Even though I know what welcome pack they started with. Um, because some people don't know. And they're like, oh, I take something green with breakfast and I take something white before bed. So just helping them identify what is what and how it's impacting their body, I think can be really helpful too. Um, but then lastly, going off the affirmation that we talked about, we don't have to be product experts. We don't have to be health experts to run a super successful Plexus business. Y'all utilize our team threads. Um, we literally have hundreds of girls in these threads who come from all different backgrounds. We have a lot of registered nurses here, a lot of girls who've been in the health and fitness industry. Um, and we really are here to help you. So if you don't know and you can't find anything in gut health and happiness, um, please just ask and we will help navigate through those. Yeah. And then we talk like, about what, what do we do if somebody's really constipated? Did you mention that one? I don't know if we did. Chandler, did um, you? No, I don't think specifically we didn't, but if somebody's constipated, I'm doing like high loading doses. When I came to Plexus, I never pooped. I pooped like maybe once a week. And I think I started with, um, three and three of each of my pills. And to be honest, like right now with pregnancy, sometimes I'm up to like five and five a night, mm -hmm. depending on my diet. Um, it just runs really high and that's just what it is. But the most important thing y'all is we've got to get our people to poop. We don't want them running to the bathroom 24 seven, but they have to be pooping at least once a day or their body is not eliminating toxicity. Okay. So somebody said that, um, it was Brittany. She said that, um, they're super constipated, but she, she refuses to take more probiotic five because it makes her gassy. For me, when I hear that, I normally make sure that they, I up their bio cleanse 
and ProBio 5 so that we are not holding in all of that gas. Um, so anyway, that's my suggestion. Do you have another suggestion for that Chandler or Lauren? Yeah, just drinking lots of water, but also just accepting that gas is just the body adjusting to magnesium and probiotics when it's probably never had that before. Um, and just like encouraging them that gas will probably only be present until they detox. And then that won't be a part of their journey anymore. They won't have to worry about that. Yeah, my um, husband always asks, I like to ask when they're taking their bio cleanse. Because sometimes if you're taking yeah. your bio cleanse in the afternoon, sometimes that can affect like your gassiness. Um, and if you move it to the nighttime, like just take all your pills at night, sometimes you can just have that gas at night. And then when you woke up, like you're fine. Um, so just moving your bio cleanser on, I think helps too. So Elise asked, what do you say when people uh, mention that they don't want to take too many pills? Um, I usually will just be like, Hey, listen, I love my products and I'm going to take as many natural pills as I need to, to feel good. And I have no shame in that. And so if they don't want to take too many pills to me, I'm just kind of laying it on there. Like, okay, well, do you want to feel better? <laughs> and usually they're like, yes. Yeah. There's several girls asking about constipation. Um, so just going back to those basic questions, but also not just assuming that it's all going to be cured with products alone. Um, like I mentioned, diet has a huge, huge part in constipation. If they're only eating, you know, 500 to a thousand calories a day, there's probably not a lot of waste that the body's trying to eliminate. Um, but also that, that natural fiber component, if they're not have fiber in their diet, there's probably not a lot of bulk to their stool. Um, so their poop may be really absent in that situation. Don't y'all love what we get to do every day? Talk about poop. Isn't this fun? Like, send me a, send me a picture of what's in your toilet bowl, girl. Can I please have a picture? Can you, where are you on I'm the just kidding. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know That's they mentioned scary. greens a lot too. Cause like, I know Callie talks about this a lot with her team as well. Like greens are the key for her team to go to the bathroom. So, oh, um, yeah. and somebody's asking about how many they can take. Listen, I am not a doctor again. I am proof that you can go to the top of our company and be pretty stupid in this area. But what I can tell you is I came in extremely constipated going to the bathroom maybe once a week. And I still to this day take anywhere from four to six BioCleanse and three to four ProBio5. And my allergies are kind of like going crazy right now. So I upped my ease, up my ProBio5, and I have been symptom free for the last three days. So, um, Chandler or anyone else want to give one tip really quick. If somebody started for weight loss and they are not seeing weight loss. Um, my first tip is going mm. through a triplex. My first one is to get them to four pro bio five. That's my very first tip when it comes to weight loss. What would y'all say? Weight loss is so fun because <laughs> it's like 75% diet and probably 15% exercise and probably the remaining plexus plexus can really be like the icing on the cake i know it was for me um if y'all seen like my transformation photos like plexus was the missing key for me in my weight loss journey but the biggest thing for me is they have to have a foundation with their diet they have to be consistently eating throughout the day like healthy whole foods um and they have to be strength training or doing some type of hit training um like people expecting to sit at a desk job all day and take some vitamins and lose weight, probably not going to happen. Um, inflammation. Yes. Inflammation. They can lose that. But really my biggest thing on that is exercise. Um, and I just encourage people like try to sweat every single day, even if it's go pull some weeds for a while or do some jumping jacks or whatever you got to do. Like we've got to get the heart rate up. Um, yeah, I'm kind, kind of back to what Kimmy loss. was saying, like setting expectations. If someone comes to me for weight loss, like I set those expectations in the beginning, like you're going to have to look at your diet. Let's look at your movement. Um, and then supplements are like Chandler said, like the icing on the cake. I usually say something uh, <clears throat> along the lines of a lot of people think that health is just like one thing, but your health is like a spider web and so many things 
are affecting your weight, your mood, your sleep. Uh, so this is just one tool that we're using to help your body get back in line. Um, and just, again, letting them know that it's not going to be, hey, I started my products today and tomorrow I feel amazing. Okay, last thing, really fast. Someone asked, um, how do you approach someone um, when they need to take more BioCleanse and ProBio5, but they're upset because there isn't enough in the Triplex package? When I, somebody, I think this also goes back to expectations when we start, and this is something I've learned. I was not good at this at the beginning, but for now, I tell people, hey, listen, some people need two and two of each. Some people, like me, I take anywhere between four and five of each. So, we're going to see what your body needs and we're going to use your perk points to get that extra product for you. And so I really rely on our perk points to make sure I'm adding in that ease if that's what they need or add in that active or that extra bottle of ProBio5. Um, so that is how I would answer that one. Kimmy, thank you so much for tonight. Chandler, Lauren, thank you all so much for your brains. Um, and y'all, the last thing I'm going to tell you is that happy customers make the best ambassadors. So go make some really happy customers with really great results. And you will get some people who are on fire to share this business because they have seen changes. Love y'all.